cool. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Uh, we are up to no good today. We are going to cook us a steak. Where'd it go? <clears throat> All right, here it is. Big old steak, big old uh, Angus ribeye steak, thick cut. We're going to try it. Uh, we're also going to try some Holy Smokers rub today. We're going to try the Holy Smokers spicy steak. I don't know if you can. There you go. Spicy steak from Holy Smokers Rub Company. And uh, we're going to try that out today. Sounds pretty good. So, Also, our meter. We're going to try the R meter wireless meat pro, meat thermometer, whatever you want to call it, from R meter. It's A R M E A T O R, R meter. So we're going to check that out. Comes in this cool little box here. Got a little lock on it. Take the lock, open it up. I'll do it one handed. There you go. One handed, just like that. Check that sucker out. Doesn't that look cool? Get it out of the box. Okay, push it through, maybe. That's probably better. Oh, I've got my finger stuck. There we go. Little meat probe. Hooks straight to your cell phone. And uh, we're going to try that out. We're going to put it in this steak and get us a nice medium steak and, uh, you know, see how well this sucker works. I think it's almost time to put this sucker on. Should we get that good? I think we're gonna put it on this side, I believe. Okay, got it tempt. We got everything. All right, let's go grab the steak. All right, here we go. Now we're going to start at this angle. With 
lid back on, let it go for a minute. All right, so I'm watching it on the R meter app. I don't know if you see, there you go. Now you can see it, the R meter app. This is what I'm watching, and uh, we're gonna see how it does. I, I do gotta say I like the app. The app is pretty nice, it's pretty easy, pretty easy to set up, so. All right. Now. I probably need to go. Yeah, we'll stay about the same temperature. That will, my lines aren't quite dark enough on this one, but I'll let it go. All right, so All right, now on the R meter app, it does also show you your, that you have your signal and your battery life of your temp probe. And like I said, you can set it for like beef, chicken, all that stuff. So this is pretty cool. Uh, and like I said, the app was super easy to set up. So I do like this R meter app and I do like the R meter temp probe. It's pretty cool. Um, so you guys can go check one of these out for yourself. You can use code NewBQ10, I believe that'll get you 10% off. Um, I'm not sure how long that lasts, but you know, you can go help yourself out. Uh, we're up to 67 degrees. We gotta get to 135. So hopefully we're gonna get up there a little sooner than what we're doing now. We may have to pull it off a little bit and uh, let it just kind of heat up. So anyway, just something for you guys to think about. Now we're not quite to the temperature that we want on the inside, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get just a little bit more better lines here. So you wouldn't do this in a competition, but I'm gonna try to get just a little bit more lines. All right, so it does not look like we're gonna be quite to temperature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it off and set it off to the side, and that way we're gonna let it just kind of offset cook until it comes up to temp. Does not look pretty good to you guys. Looks pretty good. We're gonna set it off to the side. That way, when you let it go the rest of the way, and then we'll check on it. All right. So there we go. It says done. Doesn't that look good?
All right, so I'm going to try to get the glare off there, but uh, look what's happening. Okay, so I pulled it off. We put it in the clamshell box, this box right here. And uh, look, 140 degrees. This went up 5 degrees, so that's what letting it rest does. If you let your steak rest, I, I obviously put it in a box, but you let it rest and it, still, it came up. So that tells me if you get a steak that's overdone or too done to your liking, it's because it, it rested probably too long or maybe not enough, you know. So just something to think about. It's in the box. It's only been in the box for about a minute and it's already went up five degrees. So we're going to let it rest for a little bit longer and then we'll get it out. We'll cut it and take pictures and all that. So, all right, let's get this steak out of the box. We're going to get some pictures of it. Oh, we got to cut the stuff off of it here. Hold on. All right, so let's take this off. Alright, so I decided that uh, this steak is way harder to take pictures with when there's flies around. So, anyway, let's go ahead and return it just a little bit here. We're going to cut it right down the middle. Woohoo, baby, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh, except for that big old fat spot. See, that's what I was worried about, though, is that big old fat spot right here. But uh, it looks, still looks pretty good, I think. I think it looks pretty pretty tasty all right check that out see if I can get a all right there we go check that out how good does that look look at that crust it's that holy smokers rub on there buddy it's a little it probably could be just a little bit more done uh, to be honest with you probably could go another five-ish degrees I don't know that would probably be just fine really I don't I mean if you really go by what the see I, I've been watching these uh, SCA videos and they show like a, a judge of uh, what would be a 10 I don't know that may actually be a 10 I don't know you tell me you think that's a 10 maybe if my camera will focus do you guys think that's a 10 huh I don't know let's try it though let's try the taste of it want to taste that holy smokers rub That's a dang good rub. I'm gonna eat some more. There you go, Holy Smokers Rub Company. Uh, we got the uh, spicy steak. Go and uh, go check this out. Use code NewBQ10, and uh, you can pick yourself up a bottle of this spicy steak. It's not even. It's not like really spicy, spicy. It's just like good steak, beefy flavor, spicy. I mean, this is. This is pretty good stuff. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to eat the rest of this steak. Of course, I do like steak, so that helps. Uh, also, if you can't tell, I'm like sweating profusely, but hey, it is what it is. Um, anyway, Holy Smokers Rub CO, Holy Smokers Rub Co.com, Newbie Q10, check that out. Uh, Dubby, if you want to go check out some Dubby, uh, Newbie Q10 at Dubby as well. Art meter, I believe it's newbie Q10. I might have to check on that. Uh, I'll put all the, the, the links in the description below. The R meter, fantastic. That thing is awesome. I love the app. Uh, super simple to use. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's perfect for steak, I'll tell you that. I mean, I haven't tried it on anything else. Perfect for steak. Love the R meter. Uh, I hope I hope you guys go out and get one of those as well. But uh, if not, at least you click click on the link below if you want to grab yourself one. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you guys tonight. We'll talk at you later. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to follow me on NewBQ2020 on Facebook, Instagram, NewBQ Backyard Barbecue on TikTok. And of course, if you would please like and subscribe to this video. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.